Congress was downright hostile in the first round of hearings with the big three auto executives. With their survival plans on the table now, will it be any different the second time around? Joining us live on the phone tonight, Michigan Congressman Thaddeus McCotter. And a Congressman, for the sake of the people of the state of Michigan and manufacturing in this country, I would hope it'll be different this time around. But what's your read tonight? Well, hopefully the reports that were sent forward by the big three will show people in Washington what we've seen up close and personal, which is the human cost of restructuring. Hopefully it will disabuse a lot of members of Congress of the myths that we have not restructured, the myth that we will not continue to restructure, and some of the myths regarding the quality and the desirability and affordability of American cars. Seems to me GM laid it out uh, pretty plainly. There is no plan B. Either we get help or we're going out of business. Absolutely, and the multiplier for jobs to a manufacturing job means that if the big three go into bankruptcy, what happens is a whole lot of other people lose their jobs as well. This is the last thing that we can afford in this eco economy, and it is certainly something that I hope the members of Congress take into account. As a member of the Michigan delegation, how are you trying to twist the arm, maybe is the wrong word, but how are you trying to speak to your colleagues in the halls of Congress to try to have them see the light on this now, the entire michigan delegation is all hands on deck for this dave we had a delegation conference call tonight we we're reaching out all across the aisle to everyone we know in the congress and making sure that they are aware that michigan is not asking and the big three are not asking for a handout we are asking for a bridge loan to get liquidity in a time of the fiscal chaos in the market the reality is this this is about the survival of the auto industry it's about the survival of the american manufacturing base and we are making sure that our colleagues know this, and we are making sure that they have a clear eye as to what the consequences will be of not providing a bridge loan to this critical industry. Bottom line, do you think that these loans are going to be approved by Congress? I don't prognosticate, but we're glad that the process is continuing. Senator Levin and Senator, Senator Stabenow are doing a great job in the Senate trying to find a compromise that they can bring to the House for passage. And in the end, we just want to make clear that we are going to do everything we can to see that this industry survives and the working families in Michigan, America, have a chance to stay in their houses and in their jobs. Congressman, thanks for your work and thanks for your time tonight. Congressman thanks, Thaddeus McCotter, a Republican from Livonia.